No, it's Mrs. D back with the directions to make the preschool friendly resurrection eggs. Um, what we're going to need for this activity are six plastic eggs, numbered obviously one through six. You can do this, your child can write on them, the numbers on them. You can use stickers if that's easier. You're going to need some bread crumbs or maybe goldfish crackers, pieces of bread, a cross. If you don't have a cross, you or your child can draw a cross on a piece of paper that will fit in the egg. You'll need a piece of cloth. Um, I had this in my resurrection egg. You could use a tissue and cut it down as the cloth. You're going to need some stones or some, a stone or small rock. And some of us have decorating stones laying around or go on a walk and have your child find a special stone to use for this activity. And then we need a sweet treat for the end. Jelly beans, fruit snacks, something sweet that your child may enjoy. So the first thing we're going to start with is egg number one. And this is the egg that reminds us that Jesus ate dinner with his friends. So in egg one, we are going to put our breadcrumbs or whatever we choose to put in there. So you're also going to need something to put your eggs in. I have right here an egg carton that I cut down, but you can use an Easter basket or maybe a lunch bag that's been cut down and then your child can decorate it. So that was East, uh, egg one had breadcrumbs. Egg number two, the next day Jesus died on the cross. So we're going to, whatever cross you decide you're going to use, you're going to put it in egg two. Egg three, Jesus was wrapped in a cloth and placed in a tomb. So egg number three is going to have whatever you decide to use as your cloth. And we talked about in the story how a tomb was kind of like a cave um, that Jesus was put in to be buried and then they put the, he was wrapped in the cloth. Egg number four, a stone was placed in front of the tomb. So egg number four, and then whatever rock or stone your child's picked out to use for egg number four. Egg five, Jesus' friends came to the tomb and saw that the stone had been moved. The tomb was empty. So egg five is an empty egg. An empty egg. Egg six. Jesus is alive. That's the sweet surprise of Easter. So in egg six, we're going to put whatever sweet treat we want. And there we have our preschool friendly resurrection eggs. And these are just a great way to tell the story of Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. I hope you have a great day.